morning guys and gals it's me George the shade tree fix it man and uh, this is what I've been working on today uh, let me see what time it is four o'clock I've been out here since about noon so four hours to install this uh, load I keep forgetting what they call it load leveling uh, setup plus this unit here is the anti-sway and uh, I have all of my lights are working you can see I have the plugs are hanging down there's one there and there's the mail over there and I haven't wrapped them all yet uh, all the lights are working um, but I haven't got the wiring for the trailer done yet uh, I have to run that from inside the cab where I already have the controller mounted so I gotta figure out a way to uh, run two wires and I'm using a duplex cable that's it right there and this is heavy duty wire this is uh, I think it's 12 gauge that's to run all the way to the back to the hookups back there and uh, also to supply red power back to the trailer because you have to have its own power supply and uh, whoever did this wiring before kind of cobbled things together so I'm trying to straighten them out but there's two white wires here and only one of them is a ground this one here is actually the ground and that's what it's being used for this white wire I think they didn't have any from the heavy duty enough is actually the wire that would activate the brakes and then this red wire here requires and it doesn't have to be as heavy but that requires electrical um, power to it to activate the controller here and this controller here is mainly just for the emergency See, it has this lanyard that hooks on with your chain, your safety chain, so that if the trailer should break away from the truck, it would yank on that uh, lanyard, and it would activate this switch. It would then activate the brakes through this into that. So, yeah, those uh, zip ties are only permanent. I'm still going to use zip ties, but I'm going to get some heavier duty ones. The two original mounts on this were already broken. And there was one more that hadn't been used. So I'm using that one, but I'm going to get some heavy duty zip ties to tie that back on. And I'm having to reroute some things. So once I get all of that stuff done, then I'll wrap it all up. And the other thing that I need to wire, and I haven't figured out exactly how I'm going to do that, because uh, I want to put some backup lights on this thing. There are no backup lights on here. So I bought some and they're going to mount down here on the back of the fender. So, um, yeah, and they're LED and I'm very grateful that all of the lights on here are also LED, including the brake lights and all of that good stuff. So I still have more unloading to do. You can see those tires are squatting a little bit there yeah see what I mean yeah so I still probably have uh, a couple thousand pounds to take out of there more rain tomorrow we had a beautiful day today and yesterday yesterday I piddled with the wiring and put the shocks on and you saw that video so now that this part is done, we can move ahead. So, till next time, this is George. And, uh, I ain't swangin'. I ain't gonna be swangin'. Swangin'. You're gonna be swangin'. Nope, I ain't gonna be swangin'. This is gonna stabilize everything. 
and notice my truck is not sagging at all so the uh, the weight distribution part of the hitch works very well so till next time this is George saying thanks for watching commenting and for subscribing won't be long now we'll have 5,000 subscribers and well we'll wait until we get to Tennessee to do a special giveaway on that how's that sound to you guys trying to keep up with all of this and trying to watch as many videos as I can but I don't have as much time as I used to I'm hoping things will settle down once we get moved bye for now